your girl Monet, and you're watching The Exchange Rate. You know, they say diamonds are a girl's best friend, but on account of I just paid my taxes, diamonds are something I will never own, all right? <laughs> uh, yesterday was the birthday of our Lord and Savior, Beyonce. Yeah. <laughs> and as per usual, the beehive was going wild on the social media mistake, posting pictures, getting tattoos, shutting down other celebrities who had the audacity to have the same birthday. Wild. Don't get me wrong, I'm a massive fan. I get it, but these people are willing to sell their firstborns for a pair of concert tickets to Beyonce, where I'll settle for a second or third born, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, I spent my September honoring our new Lord and Savior, in my opinion, the Espiritu Santo herself, Miss Lizzo! <laughs> yes! Yes, 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 yes. Lizzo is now, um, she's now the fourth black woman in this, in this era to have a number one on the Hot 100, and that is fucking fierce. Congratulations, Lizzo. <laughs> Work, bitch! We have a great show for y'all today. I don't think you are ready because it's gonna be fucking fierce. Today, we're hitting the streets with Marty Go Cummings. We're having cocktails with Pam, and Trixie motherfucking Mattel is in the house. <laughs> I'm nervous, bitch. But first, let's talk some tea in the game! Oh! Uh, 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 uh. Look at all these people outside. Really, there are people outside, y'all. We finally got a line! It's giving me like, it's giving me like very like early, uh, uh, early 2000s TRL. You remember these there outside with Carson, you know? So I'm like the new black gay Carson. It's fierce. <laughs> oh, now. Okay, didn't got no ice, but I'm not gonna say nothing. I'm not gonna say nothing. I'm not gonna say nothing. Um, ooh, my titties are falling out. <laughs> now I was telling Trixie, I got this dress. Um, I, I, I Amazon Prime this two days ago, <laughs> and I got it yesterday afternoon. A bitch, I am living. Y'all like the look? Yeah. <sighs> but Trixie's here, so I wanted to to, to balance uh, her clownery with my womanity, you know, <laughs> so we can meet in the middle and really make some magic. Um, there's a lot going on. It's DragCon week. Who's going to DragCon this week? <laughs> And we got a lot of you. DragCon is super stressful for all the girls. I don't know if y'all know, but y'all, it's, it's kind of stressful for y'all too. Y'all are standing in these long ass lines to meet girls for literally two minutes and then to fake smile up in your face and forget your name for a signature, you know what I mean? <laughs> but it's still a good time. You meet lots of girls, lots of queens, and I'm excited. Patty is down at the Javis Center getting my boot together as we speak. And everything better be intact when I get there tomorrow, bitch, or else you fired, just so we're clear. <laughs> Speaking of fired, this story is, um, Lit. Miss Azalea Banks is back in the news. Girl, y'all done heard. She's coming for Lizzo. She is coming for Lizzo, the girl of the moment, the girl who is really turning the party and showing us that no matter what you look like, no matter all that stuff, if you have good fucking raw talent and you love yourself, you can be a success in the industry. That is Lizzo's message of positivity. And here comes Azalea Banks with her motherfucking bullshit. <laughs> now y'all know I had a little uh, beef with Azalea Banks a few, a few, about a year ago. Uh, she got the girl up on E! News, honey. I was like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I personally believe that Azalea is a bitch. Anyway, um, <laughs> so she went on this string of, of, of there, these are all, she was commenting on, Liz, I think it's Lizzo's post, these like long ass dissertation uh, uh, posts about her being whack in this. Here's one that I, that was really wild to me. The song is not good, nor is the dumpy fat girl spectacle live she does. Saddest bit is that the girl is legit talented and truly only being allowed to shine so long as she allows herself to be this millennial mammy of sorts. I mean, it's just like, what, like, it's like every couple of months, someone says her name three times uh, by really, <laughs> and she pops off and she pops up in her lies again. She went on to call Cardi B illiterate. Then she, uh, of course, calling Lizzo fat, all this stuff. And it's like, you, and again, we all know Azalea Banks is a talented artist. We've all, at three o'clock in the morning, when uh, two on two come on and you living your best life with your horn girls getting wild. But it's like, we can't love and respect you if you keep on coming for these, uh, these, these people who are really like feeding us and really feeding our insecurities and letting us know that it's okay to be who we are. So I'm like, Azalea, go away with your fucking gloves and go make your soap in whatever basement in Harlem that you were doing it at. <laughs> Y'all know she like, that's like her thing. She makes soap, which I'm like, live your life, but <laughs> leave us the fuck alone. Um, she, she recently had some beef with uh, Vince Staples, Kenny Beats, 
Rico Nasty, no idea who those people are. <laughs> but if y'all watch, hey, uh, Cardi B, and uh, the Twitter founder, Jack Dorsey, she had a whole beef with him too. So it's like, Azalea Banks, go away and leave us alone. Stop coming back and be up in our shit. If we all want Lizzo to go away, say amen. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Kate has some ice. Thank you, Kate. This is a little ice. Y'all know me, because I get triggered. That's perfect. So I, <laughs> mm, I get triggered because I, when I was in the, I was in Europe. I did the the European tour, uh, the Work the World last year, and we were there for two months. And every country in Europe hates fucking ice. Okay, you get a beverage. Hi, can I have a vodka soda? Literally, just one. <laughs> they mix your cocktail and they go, Oh, here you go. It's like, no, I want my beverage cold, not lukewarm. So I like ice, and ice really makes me feel my fantasy, and that's all about Lizzo. I mean, Azalea Banks, fuck her. Anyway. Um, the next story I want to talk about is Leslie Jones. Y'all heard about this and her leaving SNL? Leslie Jones is leaving SNL. Um, she's been on SNL for five years, and um, I think it's time, like, L Leslie Jones, I I think her breakout thing was, it wasn't Ghostbusters. What, what was, like, the breakout thing she came with? We were like, this bitch is fierce. Does anyone know? Anyway, she's we, we know, but we, we all love Leslie Jones. Yeah, she's very she's funny. So she's leaving after five years, and um, people are really sad about it because uh, she is a big star of, of SNL, obviously. But you know, a lot, a lot of these a lot of these people who go on there, like Jimmy Fallon was on SNL, like uh, lots of big people who've been on there, and then they move on and do bigger and better things. So she has a new stand-up special coming out. She has um, a new Netflix show coming out. So like her life is gonna be great, big and fierce. But um, she just stepped away from SNL. But it just it just gives us more opportunities to see her in other shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So good luck, Leslie. And um, hopefully when your new Netflix show premieres, you come on here to talk about it. Yeah. Oh, me and Leslie Jones would have a motherfucking kiki kaka <laughs> over here, girl. They had to shut the building down. They were like, no more shows, no more interviews, just Monet and Leslie forever. So Leslie, if you're watching this, come on the show, girl. And listen, when this airs, all y'all tweet about it too, so she sees it, okay? <laughs> Thank you. Um, uh, this is the next story This is, uh, I think is really important. Um, Malik Yoba. Um, if you don't know Malik Yoba, who is anyone? Uh, there are only five black people in here. Actually, four. Uh, <laughs> so you may not know who he is, but he is. I know him from Why Did I Get Married? No one else. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, he also has a trigger. He he is he's a he's a very popular black actor, and he's he he always plays a very straight. Very uh, uh, a broy kind of guy, and um, he he he. There was that story of that young man, Maurice Willoughby. He um, he recently overdosed on medic on on pills um, because of lots of bullying for dating trans women, and it was it was a really sad story. It was really going around, and um, uh, Maurice Willoughby. I mean, sorry, uh, Malik Yoba came out and said, "Hey, so he what he did was he re he reshared the video and he put this really long um, status saying, "Hey, this is not okay." Uh, we need to know that it is okay to love trans women. Trans women are beautiful, and I myself am trans amorous. Um, um, I have dated trans women. Like he was very open ab about about that stuff, and um, you know, people of course were coming at him saying, "Oh, bro, really? How can you this and that and the other?" But we need to acknowledge and we need to love and share and celebrate people like this who are showing that loving trans women is beautiful. It is okay, and it is part of life. Okay, you know what I mean? Because so many people, <laughs> there's so much. There's so much stigma about dating trans women, and it's like, no, love everyone. Whoever you're attracted to, just love, just allow yourself to, to love people openly. And so I do definitely want to give him a salute and a shout out for not, because again, you have so many people who love trans women in the dark. They don't want anyone to ever see them. And so the fact that he is, a, he is an A-list actor coming out about being trans amorous and loving women, I think it is beautiful and great. A little shade happened because under his post, his wife then commented as well. Well, his, sorry, his ex-wife, the mother of his two other children, commented, and she was like, "This is great. I love you. I support you. you uh, you're, you're you're a great man." But I wish we would have had this conversation with our kids before it was bl um, blown up on social media um, because you haven't spoken to them in a few months, and um, I wish that we would have. I know. <laughs> So I was like, Malik Yoba, we love you. Thank you for speaking out for our community and in queerness and, 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 and our trans brothers and sisters. But girl, I heard your shit at home a little bit too. <laughs> but um, we, I'm very, and being a black man myself to see, because I know, and 
in the in everything going on with uh, Lil Nas X and Kevin Hart. You know what I mean? And you know, black men always um, in the black community, it being queer and being feminine is it's always been you know a little tricky for us. So the fact that we have this very a list um, uh, straight male actor coming out about this, I think it's beautiful. And hopefully, we can get him on the show. and We can talk about it in here in person. You know what I mean? So thank you, Malik. Thank you. When you see people like this, I'm like, oh my God, this guy is so beautiful. He's so hot. He comes here on the show and he's going, watch him be down here, girl. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, you know, hopefully he's tall. Does anyone know? Is he tall? Do we know? Like Cuba Gooding Jr., you're like, oh, that is a fine man. Girl, she is all of five foot one inches, okay? <laughs> so hopefully Malik Yoba is not that. And, you know. Mm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> speaking of five foot one inches, segue. Uh, <laughs> Kanye West. Now... <laughs> I'm not just talking about his ego. <laughs> okay, that didn't land. Um, no, this, I have seen this on my social media on everywhere recently about this Kanye West Sunday service church bullshit he has going on in the fucking valley in LA. I am so confused. I don't understand why we are giving Kanye West more ammunition to feel like he is fucking Jesus Christ himself, okay? Like, why are we, as we talk about it on the show, <laughs> stop talking about it, just leave this mother this crazy motherfucker alone. Like, he is wild. So he has a Sunday service church cult in uh, the Valley, and it is the weirdest thing. Okay, here are the, here are the stats about it. It is invite only. Um, it changes locations every time. All the guests must sign an NDA if you're going to go. What church do you have to sign an NDA? Can you imagine you going to St. John's Episcopal Church on, uh, on Amsterdam, and they're like, girl, before you come in, before you pray and, 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 and get delivered from sin, just sign this NDA. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> so it is so wild. It's very strange. And uh, uh, all... And the, the weird thing is that none of the Kardashians go to this church. You know what I mean? So it's just Kanye West and all these random people who are signing NDAs, um, and uh, they don't, uh, they do all gospel renditions of Kanye West songs. <laughs> what the actual fuck are we doing here? Oh, and there's a video. We have a video of it. Let's watch the video. I know we have more <laughs> If it's getting people to go to church, then I guess it's cool. But it's just there, nothing. I mean, besides the words "glory, glory, hallelujah," nothing about this says fucking church to me. Okay, <laughs> and maybe you know what? Maybe that might be the problem. Maybe Kanye West might be onto something, and in like five years, we're all gonna be going to the church of Kanye West, and I'm gonna look like an idiot. But for now, absolutely not. Okay, <laughs> I'm good. I um I prefer to not deal with any of that, and um because Kanye West. We all know about her. She she done been up in the news being crazy, walking with her into Trump's office with his fucking red hat and his uh, flip flops and shorts on. Okay, so <laughs> Kanye West, live your life. But as of now, I say no to the Church of Kanye. What about y'all? <laughs> amen, amen, amen. That's right. As you with your put your church hat on, you better work. <laughs> Oh, God, Kanye. Anyway, we need to move on from this story. I'm over Kanye West. Unless he wants to be a guest, and I love it. Anyway. <laughs> um, the election is getting closer, and what that means is that it's almost time to get rid of that orange mother. <laughs> Thank God. But if we're going to take back the White House, we've got to be ready. So I sent our political correspondent back to the streets to educate the children. Take a look. Excuse me, do you know what obstruction of justice is? Hi, how are you? Are you registered to vote? Does anybody give a shit about the state of our fucking country? Get it together, America! Welcome to another episode of Political Fish. I'm Marty Gold Cummings, and like a school of fish, we're going to educate you on political terminology. So, class is in session. Hi, what's going on? Could you please explain to me what you think the word incumbent means? Yikes. Incumbent is a candidate? Yes. Right? So it's like a candidate? You're very good. I bet it's all the endorphins from your yoga. Whoa. Okay. Hi, can you use the word incumbent in a sentence? It is incumbent upon me to keep moving. 
the English language has many definitions for uh, words, and that is one that we just learned. <laughs> your word is incumbent. You know, it's like that cute thing you wear around your waist. That's a cummerbund. Uh, yeah, I know. That's a cummerbund, you dumb bitch. Could you explain what is bipartisanship? Uh, equality. Equal. Equality? Could you please use the word bipartisan in a sentence? Oh, no. Sorry. Cool. <laughs> the word is bipartisan. The easiest one! Both parties, both parties coming together. That's right, both parties, both parties together. coming okay. together. Okay. Could you please use the word obstruction of justice in a sentence? Um, it's an obstruction of justice how beautiful you are. It's illegal! It's illegal how beautiful this woman is. Do you know what obstruction of justice is? Sure. Could you explain obstruction of justice? Uh, not right now. Not right now? All right. I think he voted for the one who did it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Senator Mitch McConnell from Kentucky. Hello, Senator. Could you please explain to me what is obstruction of justice? Define that. Could you please use the word filibuster in a sentence? I know the government talks about filibusters quite a bit. A who? A filibuster? A who? She's on season 12. <laughs> this is basically like a filibuster. We're just doing a bunch of shit to stall time. Do you know what the word bipartisan means? No. Do you know what gerrymander means? No. Do you know what obstruction of justice means? No. Do you know what filibuster means? No. How old are you? Uh, eight. Eight years old? Eight years old, he knows just as much as every adult we've viewed today. Thank you so much. Stay in school. Thanks for tuning in to Political Fish. Make sure you research and find out what all of these words mean because it is important to educate yourself because our democracy needs it. Deport Trump! Deport Trump! Deport Trump! <laughs>
Uh, and then th we have El Corlejo tequila. So this is made from 100% agave. This is oh. the good stuff. Okay. Okay. This You're is like, this, yes. Is, okay, is this, is this better or worse than Don Julio? Not better or worse, just different from different, different parts okay. of the area. <laughs> Right. <laughs> oh my God, lost that contract with Don Julio. So, <laughs> uh, but this, look, it's pink, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, tequila's not pink, okay, just letting you guys know. But oh. I did infuse it with hibiscus. So really fun things you can do at home. Pam, you are a G, you are at home making potions this shit, girl. You gotta work. <laughs> Went to I college too, okay? I went to college. <laughs> <laughs> but I went to Barnard, so you Bar know, like Bar is in the name. Barnard. Thanks, mom, dad are so proud. <laughs> Uh, what's really cool is if you guys want to make great drinks at home, you're like, I want to spice it up just a little bit. Mm -hmm. This is just some hibiscus I got at the store. I just ha put it in a cup with 20 minutes with the tequila. Oh, okay, Strained it out. Okay. That's, you're like, that's too complicated, Pam. Yeah, Stop girl, it. I'm lazy. <laughs> I know. But also, do you know I have all of the liquor? So last time I said, Grey Goose gave me a lot of liquor. <laughs> and I have all the bottles in my freezer. Is that good or bad? That's fine by me. Okay. <laughs> so a bartender was like, girl, you shouldn't put liquor in your freeze. I'm like, why? Don't freeze. Yo, don't let bartenders tell you what to do or how to drink it. Just drink it. Right, <laughs> right. That right. comes from a bartender. Yeah, listen, liquor in your freezer is going to be just fine as long as it's nothing with sugar in it. No, okay? no, no, no. no. It's just all right, you're gonna, I'm going to fill this up all the way yeah. for you. I want you to be careful because I don't want anything to get on that dress. We're going to do two full ounces because, you know, it's a Thursday, right? <laughs> We're gonna do, I mean, just a little bit more. I mean, come on, okay, a little bit more for you. Okay. Okay, Pam, I got to ask questions to this bitch over here, okay? <laughs> This clown in the wig, I gotta talk to her, girl. No, no, no. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna get some ice in the glass. I'm like, so Trixie, you are, um, you won all the stuff. <laughs> I mean, it makes things more fun and social. Okay. I mean, that's how I ask people things in bars all the time. <laughs> you like, what, what, what? All right, so we got the glasses filled with ice uh -huh. over here. We're gonna put our lids on. I'm gonna slap that down for you. And then we're gonna do our very Oh, this is my favorite part. Time, uh -huh. Which side do you wanna do? Which I want to do this side, yeah. All right, right. one, two, two three. three. Yeah. Oh, no, not, not this time. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. You mix that up really well. You got, yeah, yeah, something like that. There you go. There you go. All right, and we're going to take your, we're going to add a little soda water at first to get that little spritz. Uh-huh, a little spritz. Right, right into the tin. And then we're going to take our strainer over here, Strainer, and you're uh -huh. going to strain it out. And I actually put a little bit of grapefruit salt. <laughs> Like this? On how, it. how does this work? Yo, you know right oh. on top. <laughs> on top. <laughs> You're hired. <laughs> oh my God, I am an idiot. Jesus Christ. For your next at home party, dial this number. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is, this is where we pour the drink into the glass. Ooh! That so that comes through, like from the hibiscus. It's really fun. It's a fun way to add color to the drink. Oh, I love. Yeah. So nice and pink. Uh, and a grapefruit salt rim, which is like really great from a company called Three Lumps of Sugar. Okay. A female run like company, so we love that. I love that too. And a pink straw. Yes. Pink straw for you. See, now these kind of straws, it just it just delays your alkylation, okay? <laughs> they gotta go up and down through through bed style to come back. It's just a lot going Depends on. Depends how, how fast you suck it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, thank you, Pam. Oh, my god. Yeah. Thank you. We love Pam, we love Pam. Now, everyone, I, so is, is this Trixie's right here? Or is this, this Trixie's? I'll that's take, Trixie's, I'll this is yours. mine. That's yours. Yeah. Okay, well, let's have a sip together first. Absolutely. Mm, cheers. Mm. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> you better. Uh, now, everyone, please welcome my friend, my homegirl, Miss Trixie Mattel. <laughs> What is this? Oh, have a farm. What, what is, is this? This oh, here. What is this? Trinity Taylor music you put on here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, you are so good in that picture, bitch. I know, it's um. <laughs> oh, listen, this is a brand new cosmetics company. So if you think we have prop stylists, no, bitch, this is me spray painting a phone. <laughs> <laughs> and all the photo shoots for the cosmetics websites, whenever you see like the little, you know, like doll shoes and stuff, oh, that's my bald ass hunched over like with a flashlight, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Because it's, you know, like, you're like, oh, God, I guess I'll do this myself. But, uh, yeah, isn't that beautiful? Oh, yeah, you look gorgeous. Also, one of my other favorite pictures of you is the one that David Ayon, where you're on the bed with all the dolls around yes. you. You look you absolutely know, New funny. York photographer David with Ayon. Uh, girl, I don't know. He bought... <laughs> Too he many bought, syllables. <laughs> yeah, he bought all these McDonald's toys and laid me on a bed and, like, stood above me. It's so hot. Oh, it's so and hot. And we have a... No, we don't have it. <laughs> <laughs> I have to... You're... You are, you're like born to be a talk show host, bitch. Oh, it was, you. Uh, you are like, it's embarrassing that you just started and you're like this good at this. Thank you! Yeah. I appreciate I, that. Yeah. I don't watch nothing. I'm that person who will only watch something the one episode I'm in it. I'm like, all right, let's see this. <laughs> oh my God, me too. I'm the same way too. And then, and then I'm on Twitter pro promoting the whole series. I'm like, this whole series is good, but this episode is the best one. <laughs> no, I'm that girl. I'm that girl. Yeah, you are so good at it. It's just Thank embarrassingly you. good at it. How are you doing? And you, you wore this. I did. Girl, yeah. I'm a woman. <laughs> You pass me at the club and tell me. Try oh, to I would pass you. At would the you? Club. <laughs> <laughs> pass you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, y'all don't understand, Trixie. I Trixie. Out of all the drag, you meet all these girls. You meet all these fucking bitches on the show. A lot of them are whack, shady, or boring. Trixie is none of that. All three. Is, uh, <laughs> all three. Trixie is a genuine bitch. She will. She 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 calls you or texts you every couple months to check on check up how you're doing. And she really is that bitch. So I really fucking love you, and I'm happy that you're here on the show today. Uh, well, I'll say this. Oof. I don't call everybody. You don't. You don't. No, but you're so warm and friendly, and nobody. I'm very old fashioned. I'll just call people, and people are like, "Is your phone broke?" And I'll just call people. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I call you, and no matter what, you pick up and laugh like it's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, "Hi, Mono," and you're like, <laughs> "What's up, bitch?" <laughs> I love that. I do have no. So as far as as long as I've known you, you've always been obsessed with makeup. Why now? Well, it took too long. We've we've been waiting for it, girl. Well, you got to get rich first. No, um. Sure. <laughs> Well, I was, because before I worked in drag full time, I worked at an Ulta, I worked at a Sephora, I was with Mac for five years. Ulta was alive back then in the 80s? Oh my God. <laughs> I think you're older than me. I am not. How old are you? I'm 29. I just turned 30 last week, bitch. Okay, so you're older than me, bitch, okay? I don't know if you know how math works, but you're older, honey. Ah! <laughs> Is math like proportions? Um, <laughs> But I used to watch people shop for makeup for a living, and I realized that boring people like you guys and glamorous drag queens like us, <laughs> we all want the same shit. We want something that works well, is easy, if not fun to use, and we want fun. If drag's taught me anything, packaging matters. Yeah, it know? does. It really does. Otherwise, it would just be. I have to say, just this afternoon, I don't know if you planned this, I literally got your, um, your box of Trixie stuff today. I was like, this is shady. Oh, she knew she could. She only sent it because she knows she on the show today. <laughs> I it literally was me came... last night going door to door. Have you seen Monet? <laughs> <laughs> Please. And you, I'm, I'm sure you've gotten this question. Hey, you do, can you can you put me? Can you do my makeup? And you're like, you do not want to. Who wants to look like this? Okay. <laughs> I don't want this. Us. I'm saying no one wants to look like drag queens are oh, special yeah. things. Like no one you. Straight girls always ask you to put them in drag, but your makeup, I will say, it's today. I was gonna try the blue on today, but didn't match the look today. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. do it tomorrow. But your makeup looks like sh girls, sh real girls, and drag queen girls can wear it. Completely. Well, and the other thing was, I was like, how come I can get fun, like kids packaging, or I can get pro formulas, <laughs> but I can never get both? Mm -hmm. And so it was like, we spend as much time on the packaging as the formula because it's like, it can work well and also be like stupid and fun. Yeah. yeah. You know, and I, you guys have. If you haven't followed me on Instagram, all I do is like collect toys. You do. I sure do. We, um, and it's not weird. We filmed something this summer. Like we, we can't talk about it yet. But Trixie got the, you got like you got RuPaul to work to sign on some of your dolls. Yes. I, it was like I was like you know, at the end of the day, I have like one lash, and I'm like, can you bring? Me? I have some of the RuPaul dolls from Integrity Toys. Like from back in the day. How yes. did you get? How, you must have paid a million dollars for these dolls. No, there's not. I mean, secondary market's iffy, but I have some of the old ones and I have the new ones, right? And so I was like, can you bring these to the RuPaul? The RuPaul. The RuPaul. <laughs> can you bring these to the RuPaul? And can you have her? And I was like, can you have her sign them? I was like, but don't say it's from me. <laughs> I was like embarrassed. I know, but it was really cool. But she did. She signed all my dolls, and it says like Trixie, who is this, or whatever. You know. <laughs> She's like, Patsy, I love your show. Thank you. So yeah, much. totally. Uh, okay, so I want to start with a game because okay. I, I know you uh, you like games, and uh, this one's called Tweets on a Scandal. Okay, oh, God. these are gonna be. We're, we're, they're, they're Drag Race Girls tweets, but we're not going to know who oh, they are. Oh, God. And we have to guess I, who they are. If you guys, if I had a superpower, it would be to deactivate Drag Race Girls Twitter accounts. 
Because some girls tweet the most ridiculous shit like, hey, um, just j- just saying hi to everyone in Brooklyn today. If Girl. You, if you live in Brooklyn, say hey. It's like, you don't really know shit, you nasty bitch. Girl. <laughs> Listen, I, I uh, worship Blair St. Clair. The other day she tweeted, God, <laughs> sometimes I get so much done before noon. And I was like, what? <laughs> Are you a busy mom? Like, what is going on? <laughs> And then, like, I love Ginger, Ginger Minge will oh, fully- Oh, God. T- she will fully tweet, like, how do you guys like your potatoes? I like a good old mash. <laughs> what? It's like, what is happening? So we're gonna- we're gonna, And I'll we're retweet gonna, it, I'll retweet it. You will tweet it? Oh, yeah. But then tw- Trixie does the thing where Trixie will comment on your post and get 39,000 times more likes than <laughs> you, okay? I'll be like, guys, look, I wanna try a cut crease today, and she's like, who cares? <laughs> Trixie just <laughs> obliterated Monet exchange. <laughs> okay, throw it, let's, let's, let's start the game. That's funny, okay. The, okay. Throw okay. Throw the first one, here we go. Okay. Watching my favorite movie, The Labyrinth. <laughs> That's, oh, that sounds like oh. some creepy Katia shit. We have to say okay. who, no, we have to say who it is? Yeah, who, who do you think it is? This is either Fifi O'Hara or Jinx Monsoon. You think so? Yes. The Labyrinth. Because she is, you know, they are dark secrets, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Tear behind the wall, girl. There's layers. Okay, I, she said Jinx or Fifi. I have no idea. Who is it? Trinity. <laughs> like, I mean, it's Twitter. Ex- like, explains the nose. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I just Twitter, is, Twitter is for starting beef. Like, who cares if you're watching the fucking Labyrinth, girl? You know what I mean? Like, no. Okay, next one. She said people have a right to know <laughs> that I am watching okay. Labyrinth. <laughs> These fake assholes be trying to be our bestie to your to your face, but talk madness behind your back. Well, you seem pressed like a panini because I'm fluffy like cotton candy. Who is that? Is this, this a drag race girl? This is you. It does sound like something I'm <laughs> Is this me? Well, you're not fluffy like cotton candy. I think this is somebody having a sense of humor about their size, so it's gotta be somebody bigger. Uh, Eureka, maybe? I think this is maybe feet. Um, no, um, uh, Jiggly. J- oh, Jiggly, oh, you're smart. You see, you're really analyzing this. Right? I spent a lot of time on these Twitters. Okay, here we go. Who is it? Eureka! What? I won, bitch. I knew that's Eureka. Speaking of, did you see her? Anyway, we're gonna talk about it later. <laughs> we'll talk about it after the, uh-huh, uh-huh. Y- 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 Reddit, y'all not gonna get me, honey. <laughs> All right, here we go, next one. I love this game. <laughs> Dumb bitch sitting next to me on my flight to Chicago. Wanted to keep reading my text, so I started typing things like, bitch, I see, oh, I see you reading this. Stop being bored. Get headphones. Bangs are <laughs> She was not amused. I was, though, nosy white people. Okay. <laughs> okay, so, so we not, not a, a white person. person. <laughs> we got that. Or maybe it might be a white person. Who knows? Did you say Trixie? <laughs> yeah, totally. Um, this is Vixen? <laughs> this, is, this is big Vixen energy. It is very Vixen energy. And flight to Chicago. But it could be someone yeah. just going to Roscoe. Yeah, we know it's not Bianca because there's no uh, clown face and a hashtag. And no, no hashtag. And hashtag no one uses it. <laughs> <laughs> and not like, uh, like everything in capital letters. Yeah, like, it's like hashtag Mondays today. Like, there's nothing. <laughs> I don't know. I want to say Shea Coulee. Yeah. You think? Yeah. Maybe. She, let me say, Shea Coulee has been yeah. a little saucy since the summer. I don't know what happened to her. Yeah. Let's, let's say it's probably <laughs> She's been a little saucy this summer. <laughs> oh my God! Let's say um, it's probably Vixen or... Um, I say Shea. It could be Shea. Shea. Top 10. <laughs> oh! Can I just tell you, I did my first gig with Tatiana. <laughs> I am... Obsessed. Oh my God, you guys! If you've never seen it, it is a woman. Tatiana is a the drunk whole, woman. A like. drunk woman. Ta- Tatiana just started downward dogging randomly oh at her my gig God. with a fucking tequila shot on her back. I was like, "What is happening?" No, right girl, that now? was that was downward doggy style, girl. <laughs> yeah. No, she, gigs are so fun because this is the, get me in here. You spilled the tea, but we go to the clubs and they're like, "Yeah, we had Tatiana. She was great." Um, halfway through the night, we just lost her. <laughs> Seriously, though, I've heard, I've heard that story five times now, oh, okay? Like, I was in, I think, Fire Island, and they are like, yeah, we, we just, she just, we found her walking around. <laughs> like, and and cut, to, cut to you look in the bay, just like a, just like a, 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 a floating purple human wig in the <laughs> bay, girl. There she goes. She All right. the tea, though. <laughs> last one, last one. Here we go. Another evening alone as I desperately cling to the oh, that's memory me. of a lost romance. <laughs> Drowning in a, t- in a turgid river of longing, I will perish 
This is the sex this court is of like, love, soft, and vulnerable. My flesh laid bare, totally naked, completely nude, with my titties showing. <laughs> that is full Katya. This energy. is the it ramblings. Is either Katya or someone who recently escaped from a, from a fucking insane asylum. One of those. This is Lucian or. <laughs> No, these drinks, no. Trixie! No. Listen, you can't say that! Listen, I have close relationships with people with mental struggles, so I feel comfortable laughing through it. <laughs> that being said, this is for sure, their titty showing, that's Katya. Katya. And what? Katya. <laughs> oh my god! This drink is strong, girl. It, oh, girl, I'm, I'm getting lit as fuck, yeah. okay? My, my titty's trying to jump out like fucking uh, Chatsky right now. What titty? This right here. <laughs> Oh, oh honey. God. I can't stop looking now. I know, right? Is that, lunch, so. is that lunch meat? <laughs> <laughs> so I want to talk about your doc, Moving Parts, that just oh, yeah. premiered. How, how, how do you feel about it? Girl, we, we premiered it here in New York at Tribeca. Yeah. Which, if you know nothing about film, I was, I didn't know. The Tribeca was. Film Festival, that's like huge. I didn't know. Yeah, girl. <laughs> it's, the kid, it's, the, it's the Kids' Choice Awards of film. It really is. Yeah. <laughs> but but we, we did. We did four showings, and um, we, we were the fastest sellout at Tribeca this year. Oh, Total girl. Gag. Anything was... Trucy does oh is my incredible. God. Yes. You know, I think a lot of it is that you are genuinely yourself. You're not trying to be this thing for people to like or whatever. You're like, this is me. I'm a clown. I'm an idiot. I'm funny. I'm crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to smell good, but um, <laughs> it, it, it did. Uh, it releases this year, and we did so many festivals with it. But Trebekah was really fierce. Oh yeah, girl. A-list shit. There was like big uh -huh. celebrities uh -huh. here, uh -huh. and um, it's very close to the bone. It's definitely the Tracy, the other 23 hours of the day. But You're I, right. I think you guys will like it. Oh, Everybody cool. who watches it is like, ooh, it was um, it was more than I thought it would be. <laughs> <laughs> like, like you've got some demons. <laughs> So for Tribeca to now this week at Drag, are you excited for Drag? Are you are you are you one of the girls who are like I love Dragon, but secretly is like fuck you? Or are you like Dragon is fun, but it is exhausting? It Would is you agree? The, I tell everybody this: it's Disneyland, but you're the ride. <laughs> <laughs> I know I am King Daka, girl. And fuck, it's, it's Six Flags. I am King Daka. I, I am the ride, and bitch, I am the Tower of Terror. You know, <laughs> it's fun. Uh, you know, season seven, my first season on Drag Race was the first Dragon. Oh, was it really? I yes. it was season eight. So I remember. Oh. When only a couple thousand people went, and there was not many people there at all. Mm -hmm. And now to see what it is, it's wild. Yeah, it's um, crazy. so I've done every single one to date. Shut up. Yeah, I've done all of them. Oh, this is my last one. That's a lot of. <laughs> a lot of people are doing it and then not doing it. But um, if there is one thing that me and RuPaul have in common, I will sell anything that's not nailed down. <laughs> so you're telling me people are going to get in lines, and I just have to bring things to sell. I am going. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I am going, and I will I will match the crying energy. DragCon is when I really get theatrical. You know, people are like, <laughs> I was depressed. I'm just like, me too. I don't know, like, I'll just, whatever you felt, I will get you. You cry, I'll cry. Like, <laughs> let's go. Well, are you selling makeup there this weekend? Yeah, we're selling makeup. We're selling, we have the full line, and then we also have um, new shirts, music. We have uh, eight by 10. We again. have, I want, I want to show people the packaging. Can we, can we fly in the packaging? I think I have some on hand. Oh, here we go. Okay, first of all, it comes in this really cute fucking box, okay? Yes. We Look at this cute box! Well, we Stacy, the fucking lipstick is called Stacy. Like, are you kidding me? Yeah, we have a lot of size boxes, but for some people who only order one thing, I didn't want them to get one item in like a shoe box. I hate like, that. Yeah. Amazon Prime is like, oh, you wanted a stick of gum? Here's this, this is this crate <laughs> for you to get it out. Totally. Yeah. That's why you got the dress. You're like, I have to make this worthwhile. Um, <laughs> And then for the packaging, instead of working with cosmetics people, I worked with people who have experience making toys. That's why everything looks Shut like a toy. Shut the fuck up. Oh my God. Because we wanted it to look like you could really see it in a toy aisle and not think twice about it. <laughs> it's for You would get your makeup packaged by people who make toys. Of course you would. <laughs> and, so, they're, and they're kids, no. I'm also, kidding. I love this one. <laughs> they're not, they're not kids. They're not kids. <laughs> The exchange rate does not endorse child labor. Okay, here we go. <laughs> and I love this color. So this is very Wendy Williams. Uh, well, Wendy Williams wears this color a lot in her after show. Do y'all know um, Candy Yum Yum? It's oh, like that yeah. like bright pink, 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 pink. And the colors are really show up on black people. Yeah. This is amazing. <laughs> well, this is great. It's, um, I want, if I could only do one color to start, I was like, well, what's something universal? Like a really loud mouth pink. Because what if I did like a nude? Everybody has a different idea of nude. 
but hot pink is like universal. I feel like you're coming from me. No! <laughs> you are like the queen of the nudes. I love nudes. Oh yeah, me too. If I, 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 I wear, <laughs> I am a clown hooker, but like if, it, if the, the, the makeup line of my dreams is like brown mascara. Hello. Nude lipsticks. Uh -huh. And it's just me and Blair just like. <laughs> <laughs> is, is it Stacy on your lips right now? Yeah, I have Stacey, but I wore it with a darker liner because it's a little more hookery, but. Uh-huh. <laughs> and then you have this glitter, the blue. Okay, so you know I love blue glitter. Yes, so we have two types of glitter. These are sparkles, so they're cosmetic, and I tested them on tour so that you can literally wear them in your eyes with no irritation. Really? Because you know when you go on tour, I remember me and Kim would like stop wearing glitter because we're like, your face gets scratched up. It does. Monday it after drag con, some of you guys will be like burn victims. Like. <laughs> But uh, these ones are super, super soft. Also, but you can, you can also use these as highlighters. T, you can which is lips. The, you know, I was yeah. trying to get a little bit so I can. And then the other kind. Look at that. Oh, sis! Oh, That's called yeah. marshmallow. It's a, a white glitter. You can never go wrong. White glitter? Yeah. And then sprinkles. <laughs> what about the black glitter, Trixie? That's my, that's can my original. black glitter, too? That's my original drag name, white glitter. Um, <laughs> And then the sprinkles come in a pink box because these ones are like hair and nail because these are dry queen glitters. Okay, here's the thing. When you this is gonna look so beautiful on you. I brought this for you. Oh, did you really? Yes, it's called Melon Baller. It's like an off melon, melon peach. Oh, this is triggering. Tri <laughs> Melons, watermelon, is that where you're going for? Ah! <laughs> Sorry it's not sponge scented or whatever the hell. <laughs> This is gonna be a nice, cause also all the fans come to your booth and they're fully decked out in all the glitter. I'm oh like, my God. I'm gonna hug you like this, girl. Don't get that shit all over me. I mean, I mean people celebrate us. The makeup artistry at DragCon, the people is so is good. psycho. People are there in wigs. Like, oh my God. Huh? <laughs> I don't know, but you guys, when I watch people put makeup on, I'm like Bob Ross meets like porn. I'm but like- I say Bob, Bob. <laughs> the I'm words like, Bob and makeup just don't go <laughs> right for me. Yeah. I watch people put makeup on, like, and I just like, it's just like, I'm like, that's cute. Oh, yeah. I love that. It's Speaking magical. Of, um, Bob, I think we should play a game called Dust It or Bust It, okay? <laughs> it's just pictures of Bob. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, could you imagine? That would be crazy. Bob posted something, Bob posted something recently that was like, I don't understand why people would sometimes make fun of my girl. Baby. And I was like, are you fucking kidding <laughs> me? I was like, girl, the tweets are coming from inside the house, okay, bitch? <laughs> mm. Look, that's the busted. A picture of um, a famous uh, RPDR girl is gonna come up, and we have to decide whether they're dusted or busted, okay? Okay. Now listen, yes, yeah, so we're about to get shady on these it, hugs. Is it me? <laughs> Can you imagine all pictures of you? All right, here anyway, we go. this person's garbage. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> First one. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Ah! Okay, oh. the look is definitely dusted, the house oh, down. Oh, the look is beautiful. And I think the makeup is good, so I just think the flash got her a little bit. Well, Bob wears blush now. He wears blush, this is you, old, you're right, he wears blush it's now. It's totally changed his entire Oh, Oh, 100, he looks so beautiful nowadays. But drag queens were so anti-blush for a while. And I was know, that girl. Bitch, my other dream for my line, I wanna do cream blushes, cause I'm just a woman. Cream just, blush? Yes, I'm a woman. Wait, 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 hold on. So, you like, cr like, like, like a wet? Li like, like, day off, like, ugh. Oh. Like finger, oh. Really? Okay. I'm a woman, Monet, I'm a woman. <laughs> I like the outfit, the crown of the obviously yeah. got the piercing resistance. I'm gonna say dusted. I, well, I mean, yeah, dusted. This makeup does no justice to where she's at right now. Right, sure, yeah. agree. Okay, so we're gonna, so she, we're gonna, Oh, so her picture came up and you just laughed in her face. <laughs> I don't know! She said, who's next? <laughs> she, she has, she, <laughs> Dusted, okay, good, next one. <laughs> I did not, I did, such a I, did, I did not choose it. I did not choose it. You are so shady. I did not choose these. I did not choose these picture. I did not choose these. This, uh, this is the, uh, you notice how she played this game after Bob was on the show? <laughs> um, you know what? Um, Bob looks really good in a cut glitter crease. He does. Because when you have skin this deep, so many fun glitters pop like, oh, oh like, my God. Oh yeah, 100%. A woman. Um, but this is her famous, um, and, uh, her famous uh, 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 purse dress thing, so. She did a purse thing? Yeah. She never talks about it. Turkey's like, Bob, purses? No way, I don't ever was um, You know what, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna have to, we have to bust it this one, sorry. Yeah, bust it, yeah. This I'm sorry, I feel what I feel. Also, this was at, this was at a wig stock, so it's like hot outside by the piers, so. <laughs> oh yeah, we're just deep wig stock. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next one. <laughs> I 
did it not juices. Let me just say <laughs> Let me just say this. Yes. Perhaps incorporating some Trixie cosmetics into your look could really help. <laughs> Uh, she looks great. I saw this episode. This was the episode of this show yeah. where she grabbed her hand and walked out. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> I, listen, I like this look. I think it's dusted. I, I, think, I think it's dusted, too. She's really cute. All right, I, I, I promise. I don't think this is Is it Bob again? I don't think so. <laughs> Who picked these pictures? Who is this? <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> I think that might be... That might be Trinity K. Bonet. I can't even tell. <laughs> Or it might be me. Uh, is that me? Girl, this is um, this is uh, <laughs> this is this is Tyler Perry's Blair Witch Project. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler Perry presents. Yeah. This looks like the last photo of Bob taken alive. <laughs> you know what? Though, I listen. I like I like makeup, but I also love a man in a wig. I like it. Dusted. I know. Dusted. I like Dusted. Yeah. Look at him for Bob, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to get a call from Bob to be like, what'd you do on Monet's show the other day? <laughs> Tyler Perry Nothing. presents a Blair Witch Project. <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> you know, we, that's the sisterhood, though. We love, I mean, we both worship Bob. Oh, so. yeah. Or, oh, yeah. I pray at the, fuck Connie West. I pray at the Church of Bob, okay? <laughs> She's so fucking, and she has her, her comedy special tonight. It's tonight. It's taping tonight. I'm going. Are you going? Are you going? Yes, of course. Oh, my God. Can we sit next to each other? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta sit closer to Bob tonight. I gotta like butter her up now. <laughs> hey, and the last girl. I talk about is Yellow Cloud. Oh yeah. Yes, Yellow Cloud. Chrissy has a new album. Well, the album is coming, right? Yeah. So I'm writing. We just went into the studio. This would be the third record. And as you guys can see, normally I'm into my um, Western shit, but lately I've been into my hippie. The shit. mod, yeah, very yes. mod and hippie. Um, so um, we're writing it now, and uh, I write it all myself, so it just takes you know. Time. I know. I can't. Um, I can't can, I, can I say when you writing your own music, a it's so much talent and it's so much ambition because it takes a lot to fucking write this shit. And you, this is your third record. It's a third record, yeah. So it, we're working on it right now. We were just in the studio this week doing the first like songs of it. You know, normally I write it all in advance and I go in and do it all right away. But this time I'm doing one track at a time. Oh but uh, Yellow Cloud, if you guys haven't seen the video, it features Tammy Brown playing a robotic television set. You have to see it. Because <laughs> that bitch is crazy. You're obsessed with Tammy Brown. Are you kidding? I went to her show in Provincetown. Oh, yes, it looks so good. I went, to her show, I went to her show in Provincetown, and there's a part where she tells everyone to close their eyes, and then she, she describes a day at a picnic, like in a, in a park. And then gunshots start playing, <laughs> and she does this. <laughs> And then people open their eyes and she goes, and that's what it's like in America right now. <laughs> and then she goes, hit it. And another song plays. <laughs> I almost went twice. Like, I, if you guys have never seen Tammy, she is, in my opinion, one of the best performers in oh, the world. Oh, and she's so fun. I, I did a tour with her in Australia. She's, real, she's a lot of fun. Because drag is about commitment and she fucking Commits, believes bitch. it. She uh -huh. believes it. And it she commits. has great merch. Her merch is so quirky, but it's such good merch. She has, I got she has one, great merch. She sells her makeup wipes. You can buy them. I have one framed in my house. <laughs> Wait, of, of her face? Yeah, she takes her makeup off on it and then you have a makeup wipe of her face. It's fierce. And it looks just like her. It's big, perfect brows, perfect makeup. Um, but I worked with her on Yellow Cloud. And I wrote it on tour, and I was getting into like mod shit. And the only thing is, um, on Craigslist, apparently, Yellow Clouds is, uh, is slang for uh, like chem sex. <laughs> and, is it I, really? and I didn't know. Um, so, oops. <laughs> <laughs> but I already recorded it. So I was like, whatever. To me, it means like love. So, whatever. <laughs> I'm so Pollyanna. I'm like, what? <laughs> My new love song, P and P. Check it out. <laughs> but I, I really love it. I don't know if we'll, if we'll be able to air this episode, but just know that I fucking love this bitch. Ladies and gentlemen, please make some noise one more time for my good sister. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, DragCon? <laughs> yes, we will see you all at DragCon this weekend. But before we go, I'm giving out our tip of the week. That startles me every time. Did you know that? Yeah, you should. Um, this week's tip, tip. This week's tip goes out to Normani, who has basketballs everywhere. Shook after dropping that fire video for her new single, Motivation. Normani girl, we're still humming that song, aren't y'all? Isn't, isn't Motivation great? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. And listen, that's all for this week. I'll be, me and Trixie will be at DragCon this week, so I hope to see you there. Tune in next time, and remember to always keep your currency in check. <laughs> <laughs>